Oh, wait, there's a mountain pass here too. Mountain pass. Let me think. How does that play out? That was my favorite AOE four map. I had the highest win rate there. Just Sick. control the little wall pass in yeah. between, and then turtle to uh, Africa. And play Chinese. I actually think I've never played mountain. I haven't played mountain pass. Hmm. I think I played mountain pass against you. Yeah, on on A V four, yes. But yeah. I think in A V two. Oh, okay, yeah. I think it's a nomad start in A V two, so you start without a town center. <laughs> okay, that see that's such a strange concept, the Viper. That you would have ladder maps as part of the standard ladder experience. Say I didn't have you, and uh, I would be learning the game by myself, and I think, hey, I've built up a bit of a foundation of knowledge. The game mm -hmm. gives me mountain pass. I'm like, okay, I yeah. don't know the map, you know, no problem. <laughs> and it's like, where the hell is my town center? All right, I'm going random. Okay. Are you going to be cool again? Uh, I am going to rush for straight for elephants. Oh, okay. I like it. Ethelflaed. Hmm. Sounds like a Viking-ish name. Yeah, it's a Britain name, actually. It's from the oh, show. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch that show? Yeah, Vikings. Mm, no, it was... Um... Wait, what am I? Why am I not Persians? Ah, oh, because... Oh, shit. Because <laughs> uh, more people voted in favor of random sin. I am not in favor. What, what am I? You're Aztecs. Okay. Um... <laughs> Jeez, you can just get griefed by superior vote. Wait, did you vote for random? I had random, so yeah, in theory, I did vote random. Oh my god. Sorry. This is what okay. I'm talking about, man. Age of Empires 2 is like this uh, Japanese game show with like a perverted <laughs> take on the game rules. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just forcing you to be open minded, right? Be accepting of other things and yeah, for sure. not lock yourself in a corner and play only one Civ and never explore the world. Yeah. And all it, has to offer you know. this is a uh, takeshi's castle gaming style correct uh okay so you're aztecs let's give a crash course on aztecs um they cannot build horses they're mesosive so you only have access to infantry and range units wow the only way to get horses is if you convert one of his stables the <laughs> enemy's stables but how can you convert stables you need a technology in the monastery. It will allow you to also convert buildings. And then when I convert one stable, I can make infinity at home. No. <laughs> I can only, only use his stable. stable. Yeah, so it's usually used as a way to style on the enemy or... Okay. It's not a very competitive strategy. I'll store that info away for later. Might be useful. Yep. Wait, uh, seventh is, is boar or um, mill? Boar. Seven is four yeah uh, when do i make the mill again um you can do whenever kind of because like, we're on arena now so you're building fast castle you're not going fuel age fast so in theory you also want to put four on wood four on wood instead okay yeah just like a little bit more wood bank you might have to start two or three farms in the dark age as well later on and yeah, we're, we're not making any military, right? So it's more economic approach. Not making military, got it. Let me check this, Sims. See what, what you're gonna make. Is Eagle Scout stronger? Yeah, I'm stronger. I have one more damage than his Scout. Yeah, you're stronger in the Dark Age. In the Fuel Age, he will be stronger. Uh, and then you're stronger in the Castle Age. Alrighty. Okay, so they have Spanish and Teutons. Your civ is kind of shit there. <laughs> oh. Um, Wait, where's the second boar? I'm trying to think what makes sense for you to make. Honestly, probably just ranges and arbalest. Oh, I don't know where my second boar is. Is it outside the gates? No, it's always inside. Really? Yeah, yeah. Then it must be in the fog of war. Very likely. War on the gate, on the right near the gates. Oh yeah, that's how they always get you. Yeah, big camouflage. 
Uh, yeah, so long term, what we're gonna have from Union Imperial Age is probably just Arbalist. So I don't know. Arbalist. the Imperial Age version of the crossbow. Noted. Arbalist, yeah. I'm gonna make one Dark Age. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot about the, the Boar Villager. <laughs> There is a chance you will have to make some monks as well in Castellage in case they go aggressive, because they have they have a save where they can make a unique unit that is very annoying. It's essentially a mobile gunpowder unit, mobile hand cannon there. They have a mobile so hand cannon, and I should make what? In case they cast drop you forward, like you will have a castle on your wall, and I'll let you know, okay? Just worry about booming right now. Oh, yeah. You could also make Siege Onagers. You remember you made them with Cumans in the last arena 2v2 we did. He uh, Siege Onagers, yeah. Uh, oh, when I made arena. like 50 of them? <laughs> yes, kind of. Sounds good to me. Yeah, your save in theory doesn't have too much to offer in Imperial Age. Just nothing special. Uh, in this matchup. Okay. Yeah. But we'll, we'll still make it work. Hopefully. Yes, I'm against the other guys. You're against the guy that potentially will castle drop. And. What save is my uh, opponent? Spanish. Spanish. Green is Spanish. Okay. Yes. He might do the castle drop on you and the unit that is hard to deal with. But I will do a castle drop myself, so I will try to help you. You just worry about the economy. Hopefully. Wait, are geese sheep? Which ones? Are geese uh, sheep? Yes. Oh. Uh, we have a unique situation with relics yeah. and that is that your team bonus yeah. wait i'm hearing noises from your screen i'm still watching it on discord uh, i'll uh, stop sharing yeah relics give 33 percent more gold for me okay of your civilization all right so we should try and fight for the relics Okay, I'll fight for them. You just boom. And you give them to me? Oh, it's a team bonus. Let's let's think about it. I mean, it's a team bonus, but they have to be in your own monastery for it to actually give you the gold. Okay. We, we can talk about that later. Yeah. yeah. On paper, the unit he can make would be fairly nicely countered by monks, but they also have Teutons as the second Civ. And that civilization gives extra resistance to conversions. So it's not as easy. But you just worry about the economy. Yeah. <laughs> My villager just said Pog. <laughs> Pog. Twitch viewer. Pog. Uh, on arena as well. Instead of oh, you made a lumber camp outside. That's ballsy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, they give you a fully walled, stone walled map. Yeah. Well, Let's build a lumber camp outside. I ha I had the uh, the bug where I accidentally sent ah. villages far. So I decided okay. like, hey, I'll just uh, make a camp there. It's not like they're gonna find me, but they did. Yeah, you wanna fight back with your villagers? Just fight back. And the second he goes away, now try to wall them in. Yeah, that works. 
I'll stay here and try to guide you, but most guard you, but most likely now they will send both their units to try and attack uh. early on here. Yeah, you, you should be fine. You're gonna be walled in time. Okay. They all have one HP, so you could actually one shot a segment, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, he's castle. Let me check. There's a castle drop coming. Doesn't look like it right now. Man, my castle is so slow. Oh, there we are. There we go. Yep, as predicted. Okay, uh, how to help this? So, um, oh, why am I the only one not in Castle Age? <laughs> really not sure how to guide you here. It's, it's a very tough thing. I think you want to drop. Okay, try the wall from this forest to that house. Does that make sense? Yeah. Use your stone, make stone walls. Put, take like all those villagers and wall from where my scout. Yeah, exactly. And you also want to make sure that it's fully walled on the top side where your wood is up here. I think that is fine for now. I'm going to try to make units to help you, but it will take a little bit of time until I get over there because my unit is slow. You see the guy coming on the horse now with that gun in his hand? Yeah, he's got Conquistador. Spearman, yep. any good? Yeah. No. He has six range and 16 attack. And I cancel it. a lot it. of damage. You need monasteries and monks. Monks? To convert him? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Wow. So the, your way of dealing with this now is drop two monasteries as soon as you hit Castle Age. And just um, yeah, try to survive. Wow. Are you are you able to click up yet? No. Okay, because like your villagers that are exposed on the outer rim will always be sniped here. Yeah. I think you have to run your wood village as well. He's just gonna run in maybe. That's why we have to camp there. Yeah, kind of. Careful, he's under your counselor. Okay, good. Ouch. They they kill you really fast, but your base is fairly nicely laid out now. If if he gets ballsy and runs in, it could be tricky, but it doesn't look like he is going to at the moment. But this is only palace at walls, so that can be hard to hold. Oh yeah. You might want to run them inside to your base already. Oh, I need thumb rings for um, my TC to hit this conquistador. Uh, ballistic. In the university. But uh, you should not worry about that right now. Yeah. Because you can't build that building until the gas stage. Okay, I have some units I'll try to help. Let's we'll see. Not archers, huh? Uh, no. Actually, I might be able to defend you. So I think just go town centers. One monastery and town centers okay. when you can afford them. I've never used conversion yet. First time for everything. Yep. Oh, he came through with Janissaries on my left side. Yeah, just jump in your town center. I'll come there and clean it. It's not doing any damage to town center. Oh, that's you! <laughs> that's me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which Janissaries. 
<laughs> yeah, that, that should help keep you safe for now. Dude, I was running from you. I was wondering why my TC <laughs> did no damage. Oh, oh, right, right, right. I did say Janissaries, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, true. I didn't process that. My bad. Oh no, it's all my bad. What you can do is Alt-G, so enemies will be red and you will be blue and I will be yellow. So you'll always oh have Oh my god. Line. That's so good. And it's all colors, essentially. Oh, he's gonna try and blow through there with petards. It doesn't matter, you, you're not really in danger there. So he'll open up your wall, but it's fine. Ow. You can see how deadly that unit is. Yeah. Mobile, massive damage output. If you make a monk, you can pick up that relic next to your base. Okay. Nice. You can garrison in my city. Yeah. We go on my side is just fully booming. Okay. As soon as you have the stone, yeah. drop a castle. Okay, I made a, a few small stone investments that are going to mm -hmm. slow that plan down. How much stone do you have right now? Uh, 260. Careful here. So how does conversion work? You select the monk and you just right click the uh, um, enemy unit. I have some uh, likes. Yeah, I'm the same. It's the blue player. You can see it next to his name on the bottom of the score. He has a yellow. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he's having performance issues. Should not make any units. Uh, careful there. Uh, we need to get how many villages do we have right now? 70. Careful. Yeah, just try to get to like 80 villagers, 8 and 5, maybe 90, and then try to get the Imperial Age. We need to do an imp before any of your units would contribute. Okay. far are you away from being able to afford a castle? Um, I could buy it. I could buy the stone. It's a bit inefficient, but... I think it makes sense. If you buy the stone and put a castle just in front of your own town center. Yeah. So I'm making a bomber cannon now, and I can use that to kind of push his castle. Outside. 
This army is out of position as well, so you have the time to get it up. Let's put a gate there as well, where you are walling right now. Where am I walling? And on the on the left side there. Okay. Uh, a stone gate? I don't know how. Uh, in the W or in the second menu. I don't see it. Should be there, right next to the palace gate. Do you want to garrison your town centers? You're being raided right now. Oh, then you need to keep this open so I can actually come and help you. So I'll just delete the, the wall then. Oh shit, I think right it's... Now I'm, still, I'm still locked out. Okay, okay, okay. that's better. Oh no, I, I lost a lot of villagers. Yeah. This is their plan. I mean, they're competent players, for, for sure. And their plan is that the one guy goes castle, castle drop, keeps you open, and then the other guy can come in with the full raid. The as soon as he's done <coughs> garrisoning doesn't seem to do much. Uh, you, so flexion as well helps for town centers. Yeah. Like the range upgrades, but either way, he has fully upgraded Imperialist units. It's not like your... Um, it's not like your town centers would have done too much anyway. Wow. Yeah, not sure if I'll be able to carry anything from here. I'll try for a couple more minutes. But my sieve is also not the easiest to carry with. Yeah, I think it might be over. I think so. They didn't give any, show any mercy. Yeah, we I can was, just call it. I was to castle so late, man. It, it's, it's irrelevant. Their strategy would have, like, it's really hard to deal with what they're doing here. It's, um. So, to explain what they're doing exactly, obviously, they are familiar arena players, but it looks like it. Their combination here is very strong because the blue player can just go full boom. He has a great economy with cheaper farms, etc. And he has paladins in the late game. But he, what he provides for his team is the resistance to conversions. So while what Green did on you here, which is the castle drop with the Conquistadors, again, they're a crazy good unit. They are so mobile, they have such high damage output that they can just raid and snipe villagers all day long. Mm. Um, so a natural counter to that is kind of adding monks to like zone him out of areas because you have three more range than him with monks. Mm. So whenever he commits on anything, he'll probably get one or two conversions against him. However, when you combine the Teuton Civ bonus of resistance with this push, it's suddenly conversions aren't necessarily that effective anymore. Ah. And yeah, with that castle drop as well, he keeps you open and then blue can just finish the job in Imperial Age. Cool strat. One way to counter it is to actually just like expect that it's coming, which we could have maybe done based on their civs. Yeah, you, you predicted it. Yeah, and what we could have done is make army preemptively. So when his villagers come forward, we actually have army and we just kill his villagers. Mm. Yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah. And it would be like a, a bit of a risk, blind counter risk. Yeah, for sure. I could have a scout near one or two of his gates and mm -hmm. then try to see it. Try to see the villager move out at the right time. Would you know what time? Probably around 14 minutes. 14 minutes in game time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The sifts were random. Oh, yeah. Oh, true. You're right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, they were random. They got a really lucky sieve com combination. <laughs> <laughs> this is something they could have picked. They knew how to use it. Setting. Sorry? They knew how to use it once they got it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you can tell that they were experienced players, for sure. It's still, had a solid boom. It's still strange to me that in 2v2, 
I can be forced off my comfort, off my known race. Yeah. Like, imagine we're playing Warcraft 3, you're like, oh, let's play human, and then, like, two enemies are, like, random kings, and they just force you on Night Elf, which you've never played. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think it's a bit different, though. I mean, first of all, civilizations in AV2 is, are way more similar. That's true. In some ways. And also, I think we could have avoided, if I, if I ticked, unticked random civ, ah. I think I could have kept you as Persians. Oh, yeah. But whenever you force not random civ, it also means your opponent is civ picking, most likely. Uh, so they're they more competent too. Civ. Yeah, they will pick one civ that is like, okay, in case my opponents don't agree to random, I will get this civilization. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a big chance they could have had something similar or even a better comp composition in that case. And tell me what you did at home. You have two keeps behind your walls. Yeah, so I opened with a keep immediately to try and make units to help you defend. Ah. But those obviously that slowed down my economy a little bit and my units are in a straight up fight they can compete with his unit but i'm still slower right and i have to run from my base so he already got plenty of damage in before i could even help you oh yeah and yeah when that means i cannot do anything to blue as well so it was kind of if they weren't as competent as they were probably we could have been fine still but they were pretty good players okay so it's a bit tough arena because arena is so strategy and civ dependent for 2v2 that it's not a map where i can kind of like carry as i could maybe on like an open map like arabia for example there was still something pretty dysfunctional with my castle timing i think i had, uh, yes i had five on gold mm -hmm. i probably had like 15 on wood yeah so you, if i'm looking at the castle time here it was 21 minutes and 15 seconds it's like six minutes Which, late yeah, and green hit castle age at 15 minutes and one second. Pretty clean. So he started building his castle age. His, he started building his castle outside your wall, probably. Do you like think five minutes before you hit castle age? Do you think he pushed deer into the TC? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we're gonna next time we're gonna show you fast castle. Make sure you yeah. get that one right. You've shown me once before, good. but I need a refresher. Now that we're intensifying yeah. a little bit my AOE two coaching again, and I'll probably mm -hmm. play more. Uh, all, like all, all away as well, but like yeah, mm -hmm. e either way, try to intensify it, and yeah, sh shave up those castle timings a bit. Yeah, like even even though like even if you were castle at a normal time here, uh, the the strategy he's going for is really hard to stop at any level. Oh yeah, it's somewhat easy to execute once you get the castle up, but it's really hard to defend. All good. Was fun like, anyway. Yeah, for sure. And I think also I, I should, or when we continue this, if you look at the village count, by the way, you had 40 more villagers than your opponent. Yeah, I went but 5 was, TC. Was, <laughs> yeah, but he was going for this low eco kind of aggressive YOLO approach. Yeah. And he worked out for them with their strategy. But yeah, I think I need to also try a little bit more instead of just kind of, kind of telling you how to do things. I need to also make you understand why we're doing certain things. And that's where the the open-ended questions come a lot because there's so many different paths and reasons for this and that but i think it would help for your general understanding to try and understand more than rather do yep so we'll, we'll do a bit more focus on that sounds good for next time all right yep